we've got a record in our wool book. This is the wool book. The description on the bale, the weight, the age and the sex of the sheep and any comments that the classer would like to put in there which helps him and the grower with their management and the recording of that wool clip. You can see on that bale over there, we've already written on it BC, that stands for bulk class. We've got that written here in the wool book. We've got 3AM written there and also 3A. 3AM is the wool that we have in there. 3A is the next lot of wool to go in. Because of the way we've put the pack in, it will be in the right position, lying on its side out the back there for us to brand the bale. And then we can check with what we've written on the top with our wool book before we do brand the bale to make sure everything is the same because misbranded bales are a nightmare for the processors and the brokers. Now that our bale is out the back, obviously we can't shut the press door or do anything there at the moment. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to brand this bale. Two things that we have to check. One, what is written on the top, but we've also got to check that back with our wool book. The first thing we're going to do before we worry about putting anything on the bale, we're going to open our wool book, going to check, and it's bale 31, and it's a bulk class bale. That is what we've got written on there, so we know that our wool book is correct. The next thing that we need to do is to brand it. We have the station brand. It goes up here at the top of the bale. The next, it's a bulk class bale. Now that's defined by the letters BC. We don't have a stencil that reads BC, but we've got these two. So we're going to take the B out of the bellies and the C out of the, out of the pieces. So we'll just put them roughly about where we're going to use them and our numbers. Keep your stencil reasonably firm in the one spot and remove it, put it up out of the way. We want to get BC written on here next. Run over the C and now our numbers. Now we want the number in the centre and sort of evenly spaced down here towards the bottom. There's bale number 31. 